Welcome to Philosophy Maths. In this video, we're going to see how to solve simultaneous equations using the method of elimination. Let's have a look at it in action. Welcome, Welcome to, to Philosophy Maths. Fighting, fighting problems one step at a time. So in this first example, we have been given the simultaneous equations 4x plus 3y equals 18 and x minus 3y equals 7. Now this is simultaneous equations because we have to solve two equations simultaneously, meaning at the same time. Now to solve these two simultaneous equations really means to find the value of x and also to find the value of y. So let's have a look at this method then. So firstly, notice that we've got plus 3y here and minus 3y down here. Now whenever this happens, meaning we've got two things which look exactly the same but have opposite signs, we should be really excited because it means we can eliminate this variable y in this case in one step. And that step is very simple. All we have to do is add the two equations by parts. So what I mean by that is we're going to go ahead and add the left-hand side of the equations here, and then we're going to go ahead and add the right-hand side of the equations here. So starting with the left-hand side, we will go ahead and add 4x and x. Now remember, x really means 1x. So we'll go ahead and add 4x plus 1x, which clearly gives us 5x. Now moving on to plus 3y minus 3y. So if we add these two, they will cancel each other out because they are opposites. Therefore, we don't have to write anything else down here. Now moving on to the equal, we'll just go ahead and copy the equal here. And finally, we've got 18 plus 7. 18 plus 7 is equal to 25. So we'll go ahead and write down 25. Now notice already we have eliminated the variable y and we only have x. Now this equation is very simple to solve. We've got 5x is equal to 25, meaning 5 times x is equal to 25. So we can go ahead and divide both sides by 5 to get rid of that 5 which is in front of the x. Now 5x divided by 5 is simply equal to x. Then we have to go ahead and copy the equal. And finally we've got 25 divided by 5 which is equal to 5. So we have successfully found what the value of x is equal to. So we can go ahead and say x is equal to 5. Now we'll have to find y. So in order to find the value of y, we have to go back and choose one of the two equations and substitute or replace the value of x with 5. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and choose the first equation. So the first equation says that we've got 4x plus 3y, which is equal to 18. But now, I will go ahead and replace x with 5. So instead of 4x, I'll have 4 times 5. And I'll just go ahead and copy the plus 3y is equal to 18. Now let's go ahead and simplify this slightly. Remember, 4 times 5 is 20. So we can go ahead and write down we've got 20 plus 3y is equal to 18. Lovely. Now we've got a couple of steps left here. Firstly, we need to subtract this 20 from both sides. So if we do that, we get 20 minus 20, leaving us nothing here. So we can just copy the 3y on the left. So we'll have 3y is equal to, now 18 minus 20 is equal to minus 2. So we've got 3y is equal to minus 2. Lovely. One step left here to find y, and that is to get rid of this 3 in front of y. Now remember 3y really means 3 times y. Therefore we can go ahead and divide both sides by 3 in order to find y. Now 3y divided by 3 is simply equal to y. And minus 2 divided by 3, we can write it down as a fraction which is going to be minus 2 thirds. Therefore we have successfully found y which is equal to minus 2 thirds so we can go ahead and write it down up here in our solution. Therefore our final answer here is that x is equal to 5 and y is equal to minus 2 thirds. And this second example we have been given the simultaneous equations 5x plus 3y is equal to 28 
and 2x plus 3y is equal to 22. Again, solving these simultaneous equations really means to go and find what the value of x is as well as what the value of y is. Okay, so notice in this case we don't have opposite variables anyway. But what we do have is this plus 3y and plus 3y which appears twice. Now whenever this happens again we should be really happy because we can eliminate this variable y in one step. And that step here is to subtract the two equations by parts. So basically we'll just have to take away the second one from the first one. So starting with the left hand side we'll have 5x minus 2x leaving us with 3x and then we have plus 3y minus 3y giving us zero lots of y or nothing. Then we'll continue with the equal so we'll just go ahead and copy that and finally we've got 28 minus 22. Well that's equal to 6. Notice again we have successfully eliminate, eliminated one Notice again, we have successfully eliminated one of the variables, leaving us with simply x. So in this case, we have to find x, and here we've got 3x is equal to 6, which remember means 3 times x is equal to 6. So we can simply go ahead and divide both sides by 3 to eliminate that 3, which is in front of the x. So here on the left, 3x divided by 3 simply equal to x. And then we have equals 6 divided by 3 is simply equal to 2. Therefore, we have already found x and that is equal to 2. Now we have to find y. And in order to do that, we have to go back and choose one of the two equations and substitute x is equal to 2. For example, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose the second equation, which is 2x plus 3y is equal to 22. And now instead of x, I'll go ahead and write down 2. So instead of 2x, we'll have 2 times 2, which was the value of x we just found. And then we'll just go, go ahead and copy the rest, which is plus 3y is equal to 22. Lovely. Let's go ahead and simplify this slightly by working out what 2 times 2 is. Well, we know 2 times 2 is 4, so we can go ahead and replace that with a 4 and just copy the rest, which is plus 3y is equal to 22. Lovely. We've got a couple of steps left here, and one is to subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. Now, obviously, 4 minus 4 gives us 0, so all we have to write down on the left here is 3y. And that's going to be equal to 22 minus 4, which is equal to 18. Now, lastly here, notice we have 3 lots of y is equal to 18. So we can go ahead and divide both sides by 3. And if we do that, we can simply say that 3y divided by 3 is equal to y. And on the right, we've got 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. Therefore, we have successfully found the value of y, and that is 6. So our final answer here is that x is equal to 2, and y is equal to 6. And this third and final example, we have been given the simultaneous equations 3x plus 5y is equal to 19, and 2x plus 3y is equal to 14. Once again, to solve these means to find the value of x, as well as to find the value of y. Now, firstly, notice here, we haven't got anything really to indicate that we can use one of the previous methods, because the value in front of x here, 3, is not the same as the value in front of x down here. The coefficients are not the same, and they're not opposites. And the same thing goes for the coefficient of y. Here we've got a 5, and here we've got a 3. So we can't simply add them or subtract them to get rid of the variable that we want to eliminate. Therefore, what we do in this case is we choose one of the two variables, for example, x, and we somehow manage to eliminate that by following a procedure. And that is, you see the number in front of x here, that's 3, and the number in front of x down here is 2. So can we somehow multiply these two numbers with a different number to make them become the same number? 
And here what comes to mind is the idea of the lowest common multiple. So the lowest common multiple of 3 and 2 is equal to 6. Therefore, what we need to do is somehow multiply the first equation with something that will make this 3 become a 6. And we need to multiply the second equation with something else in order to make this 2 equal to 6. Well, it's easy to see in this case that if we multiply the first equation by 2 and we multiply the second equation by 3, we will succeed in doing just that. So let's have a look at it then. So firstly, if we multiply the entire first equation by 2, what do we get? Well, 3x times 2 gives us 6x. And then we have plus 5y times 2 gives us 10y. And then we have to copy the equal, and we've got 19 times 2, which is equal to 38. Therefore, we have successfully multiplied the first equation by 2. Let's go ahead and do the same with the second equation, where we have to multiply by 3. Now, 2x multiplied by 3 is equal to 6x. And then we have to copy the plus. And then we have 3y times 3, well, that gives us 9y. Next, we have to copy the equal. And finally, we've got 14 times 3, which is equal to 42. And now we're ready to actually implement one of the two methods we've seen before. Notice here that we've got 6x in the first equation and 6x in the second equation. Therefore, we can simply go ahead and subtract the two equations by part in order to eliminate the variable x. Now, firstly, 6x minus 6x gives zero lots of x, so we don't have to write anything down here. Now, moving on to the next variable, we've got 10y minus 9y, which gives us 1y, or simply y. Next, we go ahead and copy the equal. And lastly, we've got 38 minus 42, which gives us minus 4. Therefore, we have successfully found y, which in this case is equal to minus 4. Now we need to go ahead and find x. So what we do is we keep this y equals minus 4 and go ahead and look at the equations up here. So we choose one of the two equations and we go ahead and replace y with minus 4. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose the second equation. So I'll go ahead and rewrite it. We've got 2x plus 3y is equal to 14. And now we'll simply substitute y is equal to minus 4. So I'll go ahead and copy 2x plus, and then I have 3. And instead of 3 times y, I'll have 3 times minus 4. So 3 times minus 4, and then we have equals 40. We'll just go ahead and copy that. Now let's go ahead and simplify this equation slightly by working out what 3 times minus 4 is. Firstly, let's copy the 2x here, and then we have plus 3 times minus 4. Well, that's clearly going to be negative, and then 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Therefore, here we've got minus 12, and then we have to copy the equals 14. Lovely. We've got a couple of steps left here to find x. Firstly, we're going to go ahead and add 12 to both sides of the equation. So what that's going to leave us with, on the left, since minus 12 plus 12 is equal to 0, all we have left on the left is 2x. And then we're going to copy the equal. And then on the right, we've got 14 plus 12, which is equal to 26. Now, finally, one step left to find x. All we have to do here is divide both sides by 2. So here, if we divide both sides by 2, on the left, 2x divided by 2 is simply equal to x. And then on the right, 26 divided by 2 is simply equal to 13. Therefore, our final answer here is that x is equal to 13 and y is equal to minus 4. And this is the solution of the simultaneous equations. This was a short lesson on simultaneous equations. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for many more maths videos to come. See you next time. Have you suffered from a maths-related injury in the last four months? You're in the right channel. 
Welcome to Filotti Mass. Welcome to Bombing Club. <laughs> Elimination. So I'm going to go ahead and show that by drawing a line down here and just putting an ad. Um, an ad. <laughs> putting an ad. <laughs> Now notice in one step we have successfully re <laughs> Oh my god.